Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can create an index slide and a content slide with hyperlinks to the various sections of your presentation. So on the screen, I've got a PowerPoint presentation set up, the Battle of Waterloo, where I've got sections already created, intro, British, French, and index. That's the structure of this. So on the index slide and on the content slide, I need the headings of all these other slides. Now, if I go to outline view, you can see the whole structure of this. There's a whole structure, but you can't just highlight things like this. And even if you use your control key, it looks like you're just highlighting the titles. But when you copy and paste this, it just drop everything in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do control A and then control C copy and I'm going to drop it into a word document and then I'm going to select the bits I want so these will be the slides so I'm highlighting the title slide control key down contents the British British forces and positions is the next slide scroll them down a bit units and then the French French forces and then positions coming down a bit control down again generals and I think that's it so I'm just copying the titles bring it back into PowerPoint and just paste those in so that gives me that structure for the index and if I go back up to the content slide I can do the same thing there paste just get rid of that bottom one so I've got my contents and I've got my index, but there's no hyperlinks on any of these. So what I have to do, just backspace that one off. I now need to create a link to each of these sections. If I go to Waterloo, for example, I'm now going insert link and then it's placed in this document, selecting Waterloo. OK, content, same thing, link, content, OK. And then you're just following the process through. I'll just do one more and then I'll do the rest of it myself. So I've created a link to all of these. So these are just hyperlinks which work when you put it into full screen. Now on the table of contents, if I select this actually, I could probably just paste this over. But I might want to change it slightly on the table of contents. So let's have a quick look at the top. On the contents... What I might want to do is just change this to having a different style. So on the home tab, you've got convert to smart art and you can select some options from here to see which one suits best. Maybe none of them do. Hmm, that one's OK, so I'll go for that one. So that makes it a nice tidy list. And again, each of these if I go to insert link, I can link it to the various, or create a hyperlink. I don't need to do one for that one because it's the same for each of these. So that's the British, OK, hyperlink, British forces. So I'll do the rest. So I've created hyperlinks for all of those. So if I put that into full screen, Click on the British, it goes to the British slide. Now obviously when I'm on the British slide I've got no way of getting back to either the index or the actual table of contents at the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two links in the slide master that's going to be applied to every slide, that one that will take me to the index and one that will take me to the table of contents, whichever one I want to do. So I'll go to view slide master get onto the top one so i'm going to put on this one so that means everything underneath it will apply to i'm going to draw a little rectangle in that corner and then i'm going to link that to the table of contents that one then i'm going to draw another shape in the other corner 
and link that to the index. So I've got a means of going to either if I want to from any slide. Okay. And then I don't want to see that on the slide. So if I go shape format, I don't want any fill, so no fill. And I don't want the outline either, no outline. And I need to do the same for that one. So no, no fill, no outline. So you can't actually see it. Now if I go back to the slide master option, close this down. So when I put this into, just go back to the normal view so you can see the previews. So when I go into full screen again on this one, what will happen now is I can navigate to, say, the British Forces slide. And then you can see the hyperlink there. That's going to take me back to the table of contents. If I go to positions, that one there is going to take me to the index. So it's on every slide. So wherever I go, I can get back to the various bits quickly using these hyperlinks. French forces back to the table of contents. I press escape to come out of that. Now what you could also do if you wanted, if you had a lot of slides underneath these sections, these groups, I've only got one, two, three, four slides under there, so there's not a lot, but on the British I could create little pictures or buttons that will go to the various elements of that. So that's what I'm going to do on this one, but I won't bother doing it with the French, but you would do it for each section. So when I do hyperlink onto this, from the first slide, the title slide, I've got little images to go to this slide, this slide, and that slide. And then what I need on this slide is an, a hyperlink back to the British title slide. So let's have a go at doing that. So let's insert a picture first of all. So insert picture from device. Let's go for the Duke of Wellington. So the Duke of Wellington can go to hyperlink to this first slide. What's this? That's this one. That's positions. So insert another picture. This device. And let's pick a map, make that small. So that's positions. And then the last one, and the next one, last one is units. So units. So I've just got three on this one. This device, find a picture of lots of soldiers. That'll do. In fact, we'll do that one. That's the guards. Make that smaller. So I'll just position these wherever I want them to be. And you can resize them to fit. It's up to you. But I'm just going to roughly do it there now. So these are going to be on these slides. So that needs to be a hyperlink. So if I go back to insert link. So that's going to go to British Forces. OK. That's going to go to Positions. OK, and that's going to go to units. If I put this into full screen, and now I've got that on there, I can click on that. So what I now need to do is have a means of getting back to this slide from each of these. So if I go onto this slide, I need I need a slide now to get back to the British. So I'll just do an insert a picture, this device, and I'll pick Mr. Dragoon, insert him, make him a lot smaller. So this is gonna be a hyperlink back to the British title slide, British Forces, that one, the British. OK. So now if I go into this one, put it to full screen, I can then go to British Forces. I've got the option to go there, but I can come through the slide, press in the elements. As soon as that goes blue, there's nothing else coming. 
I don't want to go on to the next slide maybe I want to go back to this slide and then I can go on to positions and I'd need to do the same on this one so you can go back and forward with the hyperlinks so the process would be the same I'd do the same for the French the title there are some pictures to get to these elements and then means of getting back same with this one means of getting back and then you've got a completely automated PowerPoint you've got your table of contents at the front with hyperlinks you've got your index at the back with hyperlinks and you've got hotspots if I put it to full screen just to show that which takes you either to the table of contents at the front or the index at the back so that's all I want to talk about in this little video hopefully that's been of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one